Today and forevermore. God is real. And God is awesome. Awesome. Breathtaking. Oh, that's how God is, y'all. And God demands his respect as being as awesome as he is. Oh, God. God, God, God. I'm just going to read Psalms 22 and 23. 22nd and the 23rd verse. Y'all watch. Y'all watch what God is saying right now. A lot of people have lost it. He says in the word of God. Now consider this. Ye that forget God. Lest I tear you in pieces. And there be none to deliver. Whoso offered praise glorified me. And to him that ordered his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Our God is mm -hmm. emphasis on is awesome. Turn to your neighbor and say, our God is awesome. Turn to your other neighbor and say, our God is awesome. Hey man, turn to somebody else and look at you and say, Our God is awesome. That's what he is. That's what he is. You may be seen, but that's what he is. Can I get my witness on right quick? That's what he is. A lot of people disrespect God. Straight up disrespect God. Some people 
Then listen to me real close. You respect, I'm going to go down to the child all the way up to the adult. You respect the bully at your school more than you respect God. Uh -oh. You respect the bully at your school more than you respect God. Teenagers, you respect the groups that you hang around in. You know what we talk about peer pressure? Yeah, yeah. More than you respect God. You care more about what your friends say about you. And not even people that's your friends. The popular people, the group. You care so much about what they say about you. You do anything to try to fit in. More than you respect God. Mercy, Lord. Even nerds these days respect more about what your teacher say than what, what God say. Right. Come on now. I know a lot of nerds that have been led off astray yeah. all up in universities all over the world yeah. Yeah. by what they teach us and yeah. they professors say about God. Mm. They want to please their teachers. They want to please their professors. Grown up, you respect the IRS. I don't know what to pick for y'all. <laughs> you respect the IRS. Caesar! Boy, you respect God. And there's other things. You know, there's other things you respect more than you respect God. And God is trying to cry out with a loud voice. Respect me! I'm not playing with you! Amen, amen. It's a lot amen. of people, y'all. That's right. They're running around like little ants right now. Yeah. Disrespecting God, not regarding God, not considering Him in all of our ways, acknowledging Him yeah. so that He can direct our path. Yeah. We're going everywhere. Right. right. With no direction. Right. Teach, teach, because teach. we want respect and acknowledge who God is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. God has a word on today. Right. We're going to walk through this word. Yeah. Psalms 50. Have y'all Bibles open because I want to hit a couple points, but I want to go all the way down to where we just came from, what God is saying. That's God's part. Say, consider this. Yeah. Consider this. Unless I rip you into pieces. Does that sound like God? Yeah. Not like the God some people serve. They think God is somebody to play with. He ain't a tough toy, Wayne. He ain't nobody to play with, huh? And then y'all know what? When you get deeper into your walk with God, you realize that. Amen. But it takes us to begin to walk with God, yeah. to start realizing that He ain't playing. Right. Some of us have to go through some tragic things in our life for God to get our attention, to let us know that He ain't playing. Right. He ain't playing. Right. I say, God, whatever you got to do, chastise me, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip my butt. I don't want to be cast into hell. Right. I don't want to go there. Right. I want to live right. right. There's a lot of people that got. A, I'm gonna go through the word. We're gonna explain it all. Come on, preacher. We're gonna explain it all. Help me to take my time. Help me to take my time, Lord. Help me to take my time, because this is so serious to get across to everybody that's listening to the word of God. Not only here, but all over the world. Amen. 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 And they need to know it. They need to know it because some people are gonna stand before God. Y'all know the saying, huh? Saying, Lord, Lord, let me in. Yeah. Let me in. Yeah. And he's going to tell him, depart from me. You workers of iniquity, I don't know you. That's what's going to happen, my dear. That's what's going to happen. And there's a lot of people, you know how you go through life. You know how people go through life. You got to get serious. Amen. Right where we standing in right now. It's real, it's real. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Anybody know about a judge? Yes, sir. Anybody know about people where you say, um, oh, you don't judge me. Don't judge me. Right. Only God can judge me. There was a song made about it. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. Only God can judge me now. Right. Oh. And then we went around looking at each other like that. Yeah, don't say nothing about what I do. Right. No. Don't say nothing about what I do. No. Only God can judge me. <laughs> so true. So true. So true. God is going to judge. Walk through it with me. Right now, verse 1 says, The mighty God, even the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun until the going down thereof. 
Now we're talking about the real God. They got some other gods out there. Y'all know that, huh? But we're talking about the one, the mighty God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun, he called it into existence. He made it. This is the God we're talking about. Not the ones that people make up in their own mind. We ain't talking about those gods, right? We're talking about the real God. Look at what God is speaking. Oh, God is speaking so loud. He said, out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God had shine. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempest round about him. Do y'all see the, the picture of God? Look at the picture of God. Look at the picture of God, all right? He shined down upon us. He shined down upon us. God, this is how powerful and awesome he is. He said, before God, there goes a devouring fire. Yeah. That's his presence, y'all. Yeah. A devouring. Y'all yeah. know devouring means taking over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nothing can stand. Right. Nothing will be standing. Right. If it ain't with him. If it ain't with him, Ooh, you say, great is he that is in me. Mm -hmm. That the whole world against me. Right. So true. Yes, sir. This is the presence of God. A devouring fire. Mm -hmm. The presence of God. Devouring everything in its way. Right. And just in case that didn't get it, fire surrounds him all around. He's a holy God, y'all. He's a holy God. He's a holy God. They got a lot of people saying that I can go directly to God myself. I don't have to go through Jesus Christ. Get burnt up then. Get burned by the fire. Because that's what's going to happen if you try to get to God. He said you can't jump over the fence. That's what thieves and robbers try to do. You can't jump over Jesus to get to God. He's the gate. He's the door for which every man must enter. And you've got to have Jesus Christ in your life as your Lord and Savior. You and him and him and you. That's the truth, y'all. That's the truth. Okay? He said he's a devourer. It goes in form of devouring fire. Our God shall not keep silence. He shall not keep silence. People, I mean, you said, some people said, well, why God let baby die? Why all this destruction going on earth? Why God, if he's all that awesome, why is he still letting this stuff go on? Why do he let people get killed every day? Why do he let my brother get killed? Why do he let my mama die? Why do he let my Well, he's not going to keep silent, fella. Hmm. All these wicked things that are going on on this earth, church, Fret not thyself of evil doers. Yeah. For they shall soon be cut down. Yeah. Our God is not going to keep silent forever. Our God is an awesome God. Yeah. I don't care what's going on around here. Yeah. He's watching. Amen. And his eyes see everything. Yeah. Before him goes a devouring yeah. fire. Yeah. All around him yeah. is fire. Yeah. And he ain't going to keep silent forever. Come on, preacher. Get that tatted on your own. Uh -huh. Get that tatted on the chest. Yeah, speak well. He don't keep silent forever. He don't go, oh, oh God, oh God. Uh -huh. Have your way. Oh God, have your way. He say, he shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness. Well, For God is judge himself. Amen. Uh -huh. Only God. Only God. Only God. Only God. Can't judge us. Yeah. Our God is awesome, y'all. Did you see the kind of judge he is? Yeah. All the power yeah. that he got. Yeah. Yeah. He called down from heaven. Yeah. Earth. Everything below the earth. He's going to get an assembly of everybody together. Yeah. And stand as judge. Yeah. Yeah. One day soon. He's not going to keep silent. Our God is awesome, and he's coming back to judge all the heavens, all the earth, all beneath the earth, yeah. everything around, everywhere. His judgment is coming. Amen? Amen? We have to be ready. We have to be ready. We have to be ready. Look at God's word, y'all. Look at God's word. Look at God's word, because there's some people that think they can buy God. Mm. I just want to let you know this right now. Come on, preacher. There's some people that think they can buy God. God. There's some people that think they can sacrifice their time ah. and give God a little bit of it. Little bit. And that's going to suffice him. 
Just want to let you know. There's some people out here that think that you can give from all uh, this physical stuff to please a spiritual God. Not Come on, so, preacher. Not so, not so. I said, not so. Not so, not so whatsoever. I don't need that. That's what God is saying to everybody that thinks that they can buy God, they can sacrifice their time to God, they can give, you know, all your talents, that's all good. That's going to be done. Why would that exactly what he said? Look at God's word. Look what he said about that, y'all. I'm just trying to address everybody to let them know that our God is awesome. Our God is awesome. And we got to get it together before it's too late. Look what he said. Look what he said. Look what he said. Look what he said. Verse 7. Y'all got your Bibles open? Y'all got your Bibles open? He said, hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. Amen? He said, I am God. Even thy God, I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before that ha to have been continually before me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with you about that. I'm not gonna rebuke you for bringing your sacrifices. That's all good. Bring your little sacrifices. Bring your little sacrifices. But I'm a little bit more than that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit more than your tithes and offering that you put in church. I'm a little bit more than that. I'm a little bit more than the song that you sang in the what choir. He said people are going to be knocking on the door and say, Lord, Lord, Lord. I rebuke demons out in your name. I heal people in your name. I did all this in your name. Then he's going to say, get away from me. That's going to have some people tripped out. What do you mean get away? I did this in your name. I did that in your name. God said more than that. I'm more than you doing this and you doing that. God, whatever you do, I gave it to you. Yes, whatever you got, I gave it to you. How you gonna come before me and stick your chest out? Because you did what I said by giving me just a percentage back. Come on now. People got it twisted. People got God twisted. He said, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna rebuke you from bringing your little sacrifices. But I just wanna let you know, I have no need of a bull from your star <laughs> or goats from your pen. For every animal of the forest is mine. And the cattle of a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains. And the creatures of the field are mine. If I was hungry, I wouldn't even tell you. For the world is mine. And all that is in it. Did y'all hear God? Did you just hear God? Saying I don't need your money. No, no. What I gotta buy? I own money. Back in those days, y'all were telling all these Jews, these Jews, that certain Jews, and they were making God house into a den of thieves. They used to retreat to the house. Yeah. Just to get away with what the, the demon and stuff. Yeah. And sit around and look at one another like they're in the same yeah. place. Because they give their offer and think that's yeah. going to suffice yeah. for all the yeah. sin yeah. that they've done. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, sir. It's okay. Yes, sir. It's okay. I can sleep with whoever I want to sleep with. As long as I put my tithes in church. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I can steal as much as I want to steal. As long as I give a little something, something to play, I'll drop an anonymous gift off to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I'm all right with what I'm doing, with my lifestyle. No, 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 no. God is saying, no! No! Nothing you hear can suffice for you out there doing all the things, living all kind of way that you want to live. That's not what's going to get me. You don't got me like that. I own everything. I own you. I own you. How you going? You can't buy God. You can't buy God. You can't buy him. You can't buy him. God want more. Because some people, I mean, they're really, really comfortable. Because they got, they think they got enough to give to God, you know. But he's all right with what I do. No, he's not, y'all. This is not the guy we're talking about, y'all. God said, I don't need your bulls. I don't need your goats. I don't need your money. You do that because that's your reasonable service. You give that from your heart. You give that to God. But you can't buy me off. You can't bribe God. You can't do it. 
You can't do it. You can't do it. He said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't even tell you. I wouldn't even tell you. Man, God, this is all we're talking about. Oh, God, all oh, God is awesome. Oh, yes, He is awesome. Now, I like Him. Awesome. He ain't playing. He ain't playing. Awesome. That's all right. That's all right. Some people want me to be a little punk about this thing, y'all. But I can't play with you. I can't play with you. God ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you. I know that one day soon, that day is going to come, and we're going to be caught up. Some people want me to tip of their ear, right? They say, oh, no, no. It's all right. No, no, no. I ain't even going to talk about my boy, but <laughs> it's all right. Whatever you want to do, just do it. God loves you anyway. I used to be that way when I used to be sneaky and conniving. And you know how, ooh, baby, baby, ooh, baby, baby, please. Yeah. God don't mind. We only human. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all about me. I ain't talking about nobody else. That's real. That's all right, baby, just for me. That's real, Pastor. No, 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 no. No. You be strong, people of God. If somebody coming to you and tell you, Oh, it don't matter, it don't matter. God understand we only you me. You stand up and say, No! Amen. God don't understand. I dare you to say that, Tony. No! <laughs> Probably some woman would have did that to me. I don't know what I'd have done, Rosanna. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I'm leaving you alone. You're crazy. <laughs> crazy for Jesus. Yeah. Crazy for Jesus. That's y'all. I'm telling you. I'm talking to the church. Tar. I'm talking to the church. Tar. God is speaking right now. And he's letting yeah. everybody know. Yeah. He ain't playing with this thing, y'all. Yeah. He ain't playing with this thing. He makes a way of escape out of every sin. Yeah. Every sin. He makes a way of escape. Okay? Look what he said. But our God is awesome. He said, do I eat the flesh of bulls? Do I drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice, thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High. God say, I want you to obey me. Obedience is better than obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. God said, you want to show me your love? Obey me. Obey me. Amen. That's the kind of God we're serving, y'all. But it's a lot of people. Let me show you what they've done. Let me show you what they say they've done to his instructions. What they they just, oh, Lord. This is what the wicked people do to God's instruction. This is what he do. This is what they do. He said, I, I offer to God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call up him on the day, in the day of trouble and he will deliver thee and he shall that, and thou shalt glorify me. God said, I'm going to deliver you. you the good, good people, y'all, that's doing it right, y'all go ahead and call upon me in the day of trouble. I'm going to deliver you. Those who obey me, those who keep my commandments, those who do my word, I'm going to be there with you, y'all. I'm going to be right there with you. You're with me. Y'all know about walking with God, walking in the spirit, walking circumspectly. You're walking very lightly. You know that. You know, you got you to be cool. Because there's things out here that displace yeah, God so be much. Still, still. And if you don't watch it, those things will take over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. See, that's why, that's why, that's, this is how I walk, y'all. Mm -hmm. I walk light. That's why I can praise God and thank God because I know I, I'm not perfect. Even in my walking, I'm not perfect. But I still walk that way to try to be. I heard a man say one time, we ain't going to never be perfect. So why even try? That's not the right response. You better try. Because if you're not, my daddy told me, y'all remember that sermon when he said, press him toward the mark. Yeah, the press him toward amen, the mark sermon. Amen, amen. He said, okay, okay, okay. This is the person, this is the person that's, I'm trying to hit that camera. I'm going to try to hit that camera. I'm going to try to hit the camera. I missed it, but you see me aiming at that camera. Amen. He said, this is the person that's, that's walking, not even trying. The goal is right there, trying to hit the mark, and they like this. Give it up, give it up. No, don't live like that. Amen. Live like that. Amen. And that's how Amen. you walk. Amen. And God said, by that way, you obey me. You respect me. You reverence me. You acknowledge me. And I shall direct your path. Amen. And that's the kind of God. God is looking for people like that. Yeah. Who's ready to give their whole heart, yes, their whole mind, their whole soul unto God yeah. and dedicate your life yeah. to him. That's what he's looking for. Man. I'm going to 
gonna show you other picture. I'm gonna show you other picture of hypocrites. That's not doing that. God call them hypocrites. Amen. Hypocrites. Yeah. Hypocrites that try to hide in the church. Amen. This is what he was talking to. He was talking to the um, assembly of Israel. The ones that try to hide in the church. He said, but unto the wicked, God said, what has thou to do to declare my status, my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. You know what? I'm going to break it down. No, I'm going to break it down in the new, new international first. And then I'm going to break it all the way down to Ebonics. Okay? Amen, 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 amen. Verse 16 says, But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips? Back in these days, y'all, Come on, come on. You know how you recite things, you learn stuff by yeah, heart, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you just go to the church and then you just recite it. You just recite it by heart. You recite it. God was saying, keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. What right have you to go in just because everybody else is saying, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come with it. I will be done in earth. <laughs> That's the gift of heaven. Okay. That's the wicked saying. Give us this day. Our day is the prayer. I know the prayer. Right, right. And forgive us our debts. Okay. And we forgive our debts. Come on, preacher. Okay. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Well, well. For is the kingdom of the power of the Lord. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Wicked. Yeah. 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 instruction and casted my word behind you. Uh -huh. Y'all see that? Yeah. 
Have you ever tried to tell somebody you know what was right, mm -hmm. the right thing to do? Yeah. They don't only hate you. They hate what you say. Yeah. They hate who said it. Mm -hmm. They hate everything about. It. And they call us hateful people. Yeah, yeah. Because we say if you ever speak to anybody and you tell them what the word thus says the word of God, oh, this yeah. is what God said. The judge. Yeah. yeah. Only judge. Yeah. That's gonna judge everybody. Yeah, yeah. That's so true. And they get upset with you. Yeah. Anybody ever done that to you, Wayne? We try to tell them what God said the right way in the word, uh, and they got very upset with you. Very, I'm talking about very, very upset very, with you. Oh, yeah. To where you see them, and they just look at you like this. Yeah. Thank you, all that yeah. sucker. Yeah. yeah. Don't I always tell them, look, wait, 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 because they always try to come back to you. Yes. How you gonna tell, man? I said, wait, hey, whoa. Ooh. Yeah, that's fast, fast. <laughs> Come on, Bridget. Don't get too close. I don't want to have to knock. <laughs> no, but anyway. No, but anyway. But I tell him, I tell him, no, 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 no. Not my words, buddy. I didn't write the book. I'm just telling you what thus says the Lord. Amen. So please don't get upset with me. That's right, Richard. Focus your anger. <laughs> And all of your hostility. Amen. On God. Yes. I'm out. Amen. Amen. I said what I had to say. Yes. I said what I had to say. But he said, you wicked. You in there reciting words, my covenant, and all yeah. kind of stuff. And you hate instruction. And you throw my word behind you. Uh -huh. And you go on and live that way you want to live. I can hear God saying, oh, really? Mm. Oh, really? Oh, God is awesome, Wayne. Like He's okay. a judge. He's a judge, and oh yes, he's coming back to judge. Amen. He's coming Amen. back to judge. He says, seeing that thou hatest instruction, and cast it word, my words behind you, when thou sawest the thief, thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulteress. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Do you hear what God said? Uh huh. Not only do you consent with the people that are sinning, mm -hmm. you join in with it. <laughs> Come on, preacher. I remember I say at the church, I'm about to go rob. Mm -hmm. Are you coming? <laughs> Wayne, tell him. You want to get this money? Do you want it? Let's go get it. But I'm sitting in church. At least I had six enough to sit at the back end. I told you that Roy is sitting on the back there. But some people in the choir stand. In the pulpit. Yeah. The pulpit. Yeah. All right, man, we done that. Church people, he's talking about hypocrites. This is God bringing out hypocrites in the word. Man. This is God bringing out hypocrisy yes. in his word. Yes. Well. He said they stealing in the house. Mm -hmm. Thieves, I'm telling y'all, back in those days, the Jews, they used to go in the synagogue and they used to be thieves. Yeah. And they said, all on their mind is thieving. Yeah. God is not on their mind. His instructions, his word is nowhere in their hearts. Yeah. They said, we're going to thieve. We're going to commit adultery. Yeah. We're going to talk about one another like dogs. He said, even your own mother's son. You slander him. I hate you. You no good. I hate. God said, whoa, wait a minute. That's, that, that don't mix. That's right. That don't line up. That don't fit together. That's not the puzzle that I made to put together. And it's hypocrites, y'all. He said it's sheep and it's goats. And they all growing up together. It's wheat and it's tear. And it's all growing up together. He said, don't go in and try to tear it out. Because if you do, you'll tear the good with the bad. But just let it all grow up together. Uh -huh. And in this last day, I'm going to do the separating. Amen. I'm going to separate the sheep Amen. from the goat. The goats are going to go into the eternal lake of fire. Yeah. The sheep are going to walk through the gates of heaven. Yeah. The tear is the weed part. The, the bad part ain't no good. He's going to separate the wheat that's good and edible. Fruit. Right. Yes. Put it to this side. Yeah. Uh -huh. And all the tear going to go to that side. Yes. Yes. Only God can judge. Only, only. He's so true. Yeah. Only God can judge. And he's going to do just that. Yes. Okay? So, 
God is trying to tell us to consider something in all, all this. Uh, he's trying to tell us to consider something. He's trying to tell us to examine ourselves. He's trying to tell us to look at our ways. Yeah. Look at our walk. Yeah. Look at our talk. What are we yeah. doing? Yeah. Okay? Is everybody getting this word? Yes, sir. Is this word not plain? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Yes, I, just oh, yeah. I just want to make it plain as possible. I just want to make it plain as possible. Thank you, Lord. He said, these things has thou done, and I have kept silence. Uh -huh. All this evil stuff is going on. I told you, he's going to separate it up. He said, I've kept silence. That the, he's letting the wheat and the tail grow together. He's letting the sheep and the goats grow together. Yeah. And I know some of y'all, like, I grew up, I'm telling you, looking at different things in church. Amen. Looking at different people. And that's some of the things that kept me away from the church. Y'all yeah, yeah. know it just as well as I do. People say, uh-huh. That church ain't no good. Uh-huh. I go in and I see this girl. They, be, they I just, you know what I'm saying? And she up there leading the sound. Yeah, see? See? They preachers worse than me. That, this preacher was sleeping with my wife. Oh, Lord. Y'all heard the story? Y'all right. see it all out in the open? Yes. Messing with little boys. Ditch, preacher. Y'all see it? Yeah. Yes, yes. And it, it kind of confuses a person mm -hmm. that don't know. Right. Y'all know that, huh? Amen. You know that your actions and the things that you do, the way that you live? That's right. That's your witness. Yes. You can talk all day long. Amen. But they're looking at you. They're looking. Yes, sir. They're looking. Yeah. I thank God for shaping and making and molding us. Thank Those of Lord. us that choose to obey Him, walk in His Spirit, still not perfect. But even when y'all know that, when you walk mm -hmm. with the Lord and you're walking in the Spirit, you yeah. can see that too. Yeah. Let's yeah. see, even when you fall, right. yes. they'll say, they won't bash you and beat you. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you, man, that ain't even you, man. That ain't even you. That ain't even you. Because they know you. They know you try your best yeah. to walk with God. Yeah. And God said, when you show mercy, mercy is shown unto Amen. you. Y'all know that? Yeah. Our God is awesome. Yeah. Our God is awesome. But he ain't playing yeah. with those that's practicing iniquity. Yeah. He ain't playing with it. He's not playing with it at all. Yeah. He said, these things thou done, and I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was all together such a one as thyself. Y'all see that? I'm going to let y'all know what he's saying when he said that. Uh -huh. He said, I've kept silent. Uh -huh. And because of my silence, you think okay. it's all good. Yeah. Right. That's what he said. Right. Amen. He said, just because I'm keeping silent right now, and I'm not just poof, destroying everybody and everything that's all filthy and wrong. Yeah. He said, people are thinking that it's okay. It's okay with God. That's good. And that's how they can get up in the pulpits. Mm. And all over national television. Yeah. And proclaim their sins as being all good yeah. with God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proud of it. Yeah. Just stuck out. Uh -huh. Slapping God all in his face. Because he said, y'all think I'm like y'all. But I'm not. I'm coming to get you. My wrath is coming. And it's coming to repute and rebuke you. I'm not like you. I don't get along with what you're doing. I don't accept it. I said it in my word. And you still want to do it? I turn you over to a reprobate mind. Amen. You are out of here. You still got a chance to come on back before it's too late. We're about to do off the call right now in a minute. You still got a chance to say, that's me. I've been living my life the way that I want to live my uh -huh. life. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm living wrong. That's me. But Lord, I want to be right. Lord, I want to be right. I don't want to live like that no more. I don't want to just live wrong all the time and just keep on committing the same sins over and over and over. It's, a, it's become a lifestyle to me. It's my lifestyle. It's who I am. And I don't want to be that way no more. 
I want to be right before you, Lord. Amen. I want to stand up right before you. I want to speak up right before you, Lord. I want to live right before you, Lord. I want you to have all of me. Amen. Here Amen. I am. Amen. That's what God desires. He wants it all. He wants it all. He wants it all. He said, Thou thoughtest I was all together like as one of you, but I will reprove thee and set that set them in order before thine eyes. Amen. He's awesome, y'all. Yes, he is. He's awesome. Every knee is gonna bow and every tongue is gonna confess to the awesome and almighty God. I just exhort you to do it now. Kneel right now. Ask for forgiveness right now. Amen. Come to the Lord right now. Don't wait until it's too late. Come on to Jesus. He loves you. He's giving you a chance. After chance. After chance. But one day, all those chances are going to be gone. Amen. God said, now consider this. Ye that forget God. On, don't want to know in your memory, know in your heart, know around you. His words. That's what he's talking about. You forget my words. You forget my instructions. Don't do that. Don't do that. Remember what I said. Now consider this. I, we got a lot to consider after I just went over God's word. Didn't we all walk through that? Didn't I walk through that as plain as possible? As you can see, you either one or the other. Am I the one that I know that I'm not perfect, but Lord, I, I, I seriously and honestly give you all of my heart, yes. all of my mind. Amen. That means that no longer our understanding, we try to understand. I tried to justify every last one of my sins, y'all. I was a justifier. I could have been a lawyer. I should have studied law because I could justify everything. I'll be a perfect defense attorney. I can get them off. Because I can justify everything. Y'all know people like that? Amen. Just wrong. Just a liar. Yeah. Just to just justify everything you do. Yeah. And make it right. Uh -huh. That's how God twists the word. That people twist God's word. Right. People twist God's word like that, y'all. To make it fit they sins. Right. To make it fit what they doing. Right. They try to go along with it. No, no, no. Gonna get all wrapped up and tied up in some mess you can't get your butt out That's of. That's right. God said, come on to me right now. Give me your heart. That means everything. Give me your mind. No longer what you think about it. What I think about it. Amen. Give me your soul. Your very being. Come on, give it all to me. I want it all. She does. And then once you give God this old mixed up person that we used to be, God take you in his arms. He hugs you. He loves you. He holds you. Then he look at you. And he starts shaping you. He starts molding you. He starts taking out things that's not like him. Yeah. He starts putting things in that's more like him. Amen. And you see, as a vessel of honor, God leading you, guiding you, directing you, protecting you, providing for you, Amen. holding Amen. you, yeah. lifting you, keeping you. You bringing you everything, 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 everything is in his hands. That's the kind of person you want to be. Come on, give your life, give your life to Christ. He said, Consider this as I rip you in pieces. Our God is awesome. Don't nobody want to be ripped up by God. Don't nobody want to be ripped up by God because ain't nobody going to be able to, able to deliver you. Right. When God break out of the silence. Was he's, about, he's about to do it. Yes. He's about to do it. Yes. Y'all see all this wicked stuff going on around the world. Y'all yes. see it. Yes, sir. Y'all see it. And I know you want in your spirit, guys. How long are you going to let this happen? I don't know about y'all, but I look at all this wicked stuff as it get more and more wicked. And I take my stance. Because I know he's about to come back. I know he's about to come back. I take my stance. I stand sure-footed. I walk circumspectly. I walk with God, knowing that any day now, it might be over. I give everything I got. I don't have, I don't think I got a couple cents. I got I got a couple cents in my pocket. A couple cents in my pocket. Yesterday, 
at the festival. Uh, uh, outreach. We're trying to outreach, y'all. Amen. To the whole community. Amen. Let them know. God loves you. He's on the way back. He wants it all. Me and Tracy got rid of everything. We, we almost depleted the little car. There's stuff in the bank. But it don't matter to me, y'all. I'm living day by day. I am living day by day. And I think like God can come back at any time. He can come back at any time. I want to be found doing His will. I want to be found praising Him. Giving Him glory. Everything that I have. Nothing don't matter. Because He made it all and it all belongs to Him. And I'm going to give you a testimony right now before it even happens. Guess what? Yeah. God going to still take care of everything we need. So we take care of. I got bills that, you know, they threaten to cut them off. But they ain't going to get cut off. They going to stay on. Watch. Oh Watch what I tell you. Yeah. God going to take care of me, y'all. God going to take care of me. Whoso offer it praise, glorify it me. Yeah. And to him that ordered his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Amen. 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 He who sacrifices thank offerings honor me. And he prepares the way so that I might show him the salvation of God. Not your money. Don't think that you can pay God. All your talents. You can't impress God. God say, offer me true things. Offer me true praise. In these last days, he's seeking somebody that's going to serve him and trust him and worship him. That's right. In truth. Yeah. And in spirit. Amen. That's what he wants. He said, those of us that do that, here you go, Lord. It all belongs to you. I thank Hallelujah. you. I thank yeah, you. I, I thank am, you. Boss. I thank you. I praise you, I praise you, I praise you. I worship you, Lord. Not just with my mouth, but with my heart, my mind, my soul, my life, my strength. All that I got. Oh, yes. yes. Salvation yes. shall be shown to us. Thank you, Lord. Our God is us. The doors of the church are now open. Is there anybody in here today that say that that, that might have been me in that word of God? Well, he was just talking about me. I, that's all I do is give my time. But I don't give him my life. I give him my time and I sing in the choir. I urge you at the doors. I preach in the pulpit. But I know that I, I don't give him my all. I've been keeping this part, this part back for myself. For too long, you've been keeping it. Give it to God. Give it to God.
Our God is awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Brother Deacon. Thank you, thank you, thank you.